this view without severely disrupting the casting? I think the cast has already been severely disrupted. Why, by, by our mere existence? Come on, we can do this! More or less. We can do this, come on, come on. Okay, the bomb's going to be, never mind. Don't pretend. Don't pretend. That could have been something beautiful, but like literally no. It, it might have been interesting, but as you said, it is going to be blocked straight into the inside. So this is the usual for Marnie just hitting, hitting the pace up. And they will actually be able to get the bomb down super fast here, but they're actually trying to take over Barks very quickly. Going to lose the player on Plateau. They might actually be losing the site. No one's... They've only got one person in yeah, there. Yeah, no one's on the site. So now they're having to retake into the site from Upper Dark. ATK going to be rocking their faces with that P2000. P3 had a cracking pistol around last time, managing to take an ace, but it's not going to happen this time. And I really feel like that was a breakdown of communication. Why did everybody go to Dark, leaving the planter alone and the gun plateau alone? What, is, what a bizarre round. That so was really uh, I, by power, vacated the site and chose to play the retake with all their team. And then Denial so chose weird. to vacate the site and play the retake after they planted the bomb. But that just feels like a really huge mistake. Denial are going to be furious about that. Um, dude, I don't see why they would need so many people going up a dock when the CT was really assaulting the site. Indeed, it wasn't an ideal situation for them, but Daps has to keep a cool head. It's like uh, one thing after another going wrong for them at the moment. As you said, it's really going to be a real test for their morale. And we see push coming into you along. They'll get smoked off there and... Got three players in the game. Play. They did get the bomb down, obviously, so we have to see fine now. You do have to consider that with Adren missing, again, they are playing with a sub that is XP3 because Adren, unfortunately, could not make it for today's scheduled match. Yeah. Uh, but with you know Adren, obviously, being an ex in game leader of I Buy Power himself. Uh, could I don't know if he's going to be doing like some mid calling, etc., or you know helping the team out, but uh, just seem to kind of wonder what effect his uh, absence may have on the team. Swag going for a push up the dark and finds himself to kill Dazed, simultaneously finding a kill. They have a dark take. That is so great to see. Dazed coming in now. Coming up a dark, having claimed some kills. And it's just Daps left. There's been like 20 seconds played in the round and they've just completely gutted the offense before they can do anything or set anything up. Nope. Dark is ours. Mid is ours. And now, when it's just Daps left alive, we're gonna we're gonna let you have mid now. So Daps in the one on three. I have seen a one on three go the way of the terrorists many times on this map, so I will not ever count Daps out here. Was it Mo who did it with pistols the other day? I have no idea. I think so. I think it was a one on three. The bomb was through double doors, and he was CT spawn right as a terrorist. I don't, and, uh, I don't have memory of this. Oh, it was brilliant. All right. Oh, there's a highlight on YouTube. Yeah, maybe you should watch it. DDK. I should watch that. Remind myself, my memory is shot. But here we have Daps approaching the B site now. Don't get spotted on that. It's a very tiny angle, and Smigel will uh, finish he off. He put his hands up, but it was too late. The police shot him down. Three zero. So another strong start for Iber Power here. They're looking to close this out with speed. Yeah. So Denial have a round to think about things here. They have a round to do a Titan, jump around in T spawn and just discuss uh, what needs to happen. And they need to they need to come back with a vengeance in the next round before I by power uh, get on a tear and fill Scooby Doo's wallets full of green notes. Push up uh, long. They do give it up to I by power, but that's okay. We're gonna have lots of mates to play. They're all lining up there. Easy picking, so here you go. With the M3 A4. And we do have a bit of a straggler here. Hey, ooh, he actually gets a kill. That's always the last man standing for his team in these situations. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, he's, he's often get, getting the role of just going solo. And we saw that happen to Hiko quite a few times on the phone, being left with his team dead and just idling around because there wasn't much else to do at that point. But now in with the next buy. XP3 picking up the AWP. And now this is where things will get interesting. What is he going to decide to do with it? He's going to go for the mid pick and... Is Skadoodle going to get for the challenge? Where is Skadoodle? In fact, Skadoodle is towards the A long area. So not doing any action at all on, on middle. In fact, they've completely voided the middle at this point. So this is a, a very effective way you can play Dust 2. And uh, we do have a push, actually, in A longhouse. Very, very far up there by Hiko. They can leave him here now if they really want to. And, uh, 
get that player onto short or to CT spawn. To yeah, and this spawn is fast. that position we were talking about earlier by Skadoodle. We'll see if he uh, has some traffic to deal with soon. Looks like he will do. Ooh. Oh, just picked off at the right time. They both missed the shot there. Does get a second one on Nitro there rather than XP3. Nade coming in. That's going to land 71 damage. Uh, sorry, 71 HP remaining. Skadoodle watching that. Uh, Dirty angle to uh, see the CTs coming. We do have trades coming in in the mid area. XP3 gonna jump wow. down with the AWP, uh, and that's gonna be only one person lost for I buy power. 5 0. Look at the money in the bank already. He's holding mouse one, getting three kills instantly. That is, that really hurts. They're not getting, getting brutalized at this point. They actually have a couple AKs there. Um, it's, it's really difficult to. to to talk about what they're doing right now because they're just getting it's all about i by power basically i power just manhandling them look at this skidoo gonna push in see there's no upper upper middle gets to be able to push up he has support from short as well we saw the the uh the grenade go in from his teammate from short great support coming in for the upper of i by power as denal have been rocked yet again fugly going down in lower dark they're all just t stuck in upper dark they're gonna try to bust out here and it is going to be uh, with the frag of swag to do so onto that B-bomb site. But lots more work to do now as plenty of I by power players are swinging on in for the defense of this site. AZK coming in from the flank. He can get his one-on-one. -on -one. Nitro does take him down. It's a very important frag there. Holding the flank steady. Let's go down. Daps is going to be able to get over one window. Want to find there's some leading there onto Daps. And we do have two left here. We might try to mosey on back, but in goes Napoli. Going to take down Hiko as he pushes through the door. And Day's going to try to save this AWP. Find the exit. Whiffs the shot. Uh, ooh, does manage to one. The other one's really low as well. He might be able to find himself something, but Nitro comes in and does finish him off. And the orb is picked up. So there it is. It's going to be able to jump onto XP3. What a round! That was, wow. I have to say, that the beginning of that round was excellent by I by Power. Yeah. Firstly, the previous round, they completely left mid alone. That round, they had two people peeking in mid. Uh, they didn't see anybody in the mid area. They pushed lower tunnels, got a frag there. Then they, then they, then they kind of played a reactive game to where might Denial try and uh, try <laughs> get back control of mid. And they naded it up top mid as well. It's really, really good play there by I by Power. So again getting picks, taking out Fugly, XP3. Taking out Dazed. Four on four here. Both AWPs still in play. It's going to be an important pick on Long by Nitro, but there's two more CTs to deal with. Skadoodle getting a flash on XP3, then taking him out. And Nitro as well. Just uh, going down one by one, our denial. And it is three versus two right now. The bomb is still in control of the T's. Marvelous work. Skadoodle's done nothing less than marvelous work in the entire series. As uh, XEK does deflect that fly, and it's all down to that now. Imagine to take down AZK, that's going to secure him away into the site and a plant and gets a one on two on the defense. He's got, like, he actually has time to move into position. He may not know that, but this is doable. Very, very doable for Daps. He has an HE and he's going to get close for the one on one. Can he find it? Does find the peaking player. Swag goes down, giving away a little bit of an arm there to try to peek his way into the site. But there it is, and it's going to be Skadoodle who secures the round. It was a close one with only. 18 points of health left on him, but uh, 13 even, I can't read. But, uh, he, looked, he looked away to kind of like, oh, where's the box I can stand behind? As yeah. the uh, his opponent was coming through the door. So unfortunate timing there. 6-1 denial. This is not looking good at all. I don't. I feel like uh, I by power can't be stopped right now. And Day is picking up the second orb. Let's see what kind of uh, angle he takes. We've, we've seen the strength of his angles on uh, Cash. Oh, there it is. Oh, there he is. Very, very good. And they, they haven't had a lot of presence in mid on some of these rounds, but Dazed uh, picking up the AWP is going to be the, way, the guy who's able to do this. And ooh, they're very close. He does get the, the reaction shot there. And oh, AZK coming out from lower dark. Doesn't take down a player, but does significant damage to Nafli. And they can leave Dazed on plateau if they want with the AWP or any angle Timing. for that matter. And Skidoo's going to retake middle for Iber Power. And once again, honestly, Iber Power, I swear, if we were to see the amount of map control they had in, in numbers, I swear, like most of the time, they got like 90% of the map. Like, most of the time, this they have so much map control, it's ridiculous. What, what do Denial need to do here? Well, they need to stop getting just pushed from everywhere. and They're just losing. Sorry, look, please carry on. No, I mean, they've, they've lost out to, to dark pushes quite a few times because they, 
they've either lost their AWPA or have been too afraid to challenge middles. So that, you know, that's that's the standard dynamic on this map, is that if the CTs know that you don't have anyone on middle with an AWP or, or, or and you have no confidence to look mid, if you're not going to smoke it, that means the guy can just look in upper dark. Or even rush, they can even just take up, uh, sorry, take dark. And Swag has been pushing upper dark loads. They've been managing to get so many effective aggressions. And uh, they've been supporting each other very well. They've been doing great team plays. So that's when they do aggressions on lower dark. They've got a guy pushing short. I mean, it's just, uh, just overall out executing denial just all over the place. This is a really good showing by the uh, new I buy power roster. And you have to wonder how much denial are hurting. A, by the lack of Shazam. We've seen how strong his orping is. And and uh, he could have definitely given Scoodoodle a run for his, his money in these maps. And obviously, Adren is assumed to be the new orper on their team. And he is absent today. Again, uh, they have a sub in XP3 taking his place. He's done a great job, all things considered. So he's not going to be, he's not going to be part of the lineup. So that is the argument to be made, I suppose. The Inferno game was great from them, though. But yeah, and XP3 did do a hell of a lot of orping uh, on that map. Yeah, he did it as well. An amazing and job. it should have been theirs, but uh, it is 2-0. They do have a uh, one man in banana, and this might distract some of the players. But the thing is, is that I would power have four left right now to kind of position around the map so they are taking things very very uh, almost lackadaisical here as we have xp3 moving in towards that uh, a bomb site with the bomb in hand dazed is ready though this might just be the end of this round dazed it to shots and clinches the round so i have a power nine now and it's not looking like denala close to picking up rounds at this point they're going to find themselves back on the eco. Not enough money for a full buy. Tech 9's coming out for Nitro, Fugly, XP3, and Nafly. So that CZ is well and truly dead, I think it's safe to say at this point. Only uh, a handful of players using I think I've seen one person today uh, using that across at least three matches. So. Well, the one thing I'm surprised about is that Denal haven't been doing many of the standard dust two plays, which are effective no matter what you're doing. Which is, you know, the play looks the same every time, but can be anything. Very famous across all, all incarnations of Dust in all games, where you take you take short, you take you take dark, you take short, you take middle, and you're pressing on from that from that play. You can quickly go down into mid and split B, or you can quickly split uh, A. It looks the same to the CTs, but they 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 can't. It's very hard for them to work out which one play it is. Four ops for denial. So again, that's what they were doing on Cash. Didn't go so well for them on the CT side at least, but but we're not seeing that kind of a play Four from Four ups versus three ups and an auto sniper. This is going to be fun. And uh, ooh, in comes up number two. And it's going to whiff the shot there. He does actually get the tag on to Daze. Is Daze going to stick around? Looks like he's going to give up the ghost there. You're going in, aggressive, gets the quick scope there onto Nitro, as we do have him falling back now onto the pit position, done his job. And uh, three ops on denial. Three orbs on other part and a scar. But look at look at their lack of map <laughs> control. They've got nothing. Exactly. They never take short. This is the thing that I'm really curious about. Because if you're if they're worried about Skadoodle on the car position, like you're talking about, because it's very iconic for them, then you can smoke that. You can absolutely smoke that. There's loads of ways to smoke it and smoke the site if you're worried about orpers. So yeah, there is there is a smoke called a fanatic smoke where Nafly is right now. Uh, which lands on the top of a slope. I'm not exactly sure if it would cover uh, Skadoodle's usual positions there, but uh, he can, can at least for a torrent of flashes in something. You can deal with it. Yeah, that's it's going that's in one story. by one. Even on the ecos, they're dying one by one. There's no, there's uh, not really doing the safety in numbers thing. I want to, I want to see, I want to see a uh, player outside long. I want to see a guy who's kind of just playing with middle, like an op playing with middle. I want to see guys, a couple of guys moving through upper dark. Create presence, go down, smoke Xbox, Xbox, move up to short, and then work it out from there. So we do have the bomb down finally on A. Just one off the left though in that fly, not necessarily the offer you'd expect to pull out the clutch. It's gonna go for it though, and only able to uh, take down one. So I mean the the other thing about about 
playing like that is when you're in that position, it's all about figuring out whether you want to do the A split or the B split, or you know jumping down to the middle, or if you want to hit the A. Like that. So, so usually there's lots of ways to do this, and it, it, it's, it's about finding information. And you can even throw nades to force the TTs to throw nades, because then you can see the positions that their nades come from, and then judging from the positions that they're throwing their nades from, you can actually extrapolate where they're standing and then where all Look the players at this. should Look be. At this. That is just so, so much confidence. He's got no support. He runs through the smoke. <laughs> just goes for it. That is hilarious from uh, from days there. Oh my goodness. But uh, they are going to make their way into the B-bomb site. Successful in, uh, in in making the frags, so the entries are coming their way. But it does feel like Overpower is kind of just, they're just messing around now. Yeah, and heading heading into the final with, with uh, a game like this, they're going to be absolutely brimming with confidence. Just uh, for you guys who are tuned in, the second semi-final will be early on Saturday, around 10 o'clock uh, American time. Um, I'll tell you what time zone in a second. 10 a.m., you mean? 10, yeah, 10 a.m., sorry. Yeah. What time zone is it? Is it? CDT? Central. 10 a.m. Central. Central. Okay. We'll be going uh, live on Saturday with the second semi-final, and straight after that will be the grand final here, guys. Again, uh, $5,000 on the line here for the U.S. Man, you know what, James? I do not. I don't belong to a time zone anymore. I've done. I just did an Australia a cast for Australia for Oceania. Did a cast for NA. Did a cast for Europe. I don't belong anywhere anymore. <laughs> I, f I flew back from America to Europe, and then did a cast in Europe, and now I'm doing a cast in, in North America. It's crazy. <laughs> Denial have doubled their score Madness. with uh, two rounds remaining in the first half. Um, but actually, the, the point I was talking about, about how you like find out where players are for, uh, baiting out grenades, is something that I think Steel has talked about in some of the analysis he does sometimes on his stream. It's a really, really nuanced part of the game that's very important. We're going to see Nafly actually opening up onto long. And this might be the start of something here for Nava, but perhaps not as as uh, Nafai does go down. He looks pretty good in that engagement, but he's not going to be able to survive. So now they have, once again, next to nothing map control-wise. They've got two guys up in middle by Xbox, but they haven't pushed up short just yet. And, uh, they have to try to pull their their eggs in one basket now and just go for the, the A bomb site. it seems. Just three players left. They've got to commit together. And uh, one player watching the flank. In they go. Good pick there from Puggy with the AWP. Days on the site is going to be able to put the stop onto two players. It's a very big result from Days. It's going to stop XP3 from, uh, well, should in theory stop him from winning this. It's going to be very hard. Two on one. Does get a quick one on one. And Swag is going to catch him off. 11 to 2. Soon to be 12 to 2. And Zyber by Power are looking to close map 3 out and win this series very, very efficiently. I feel like <coughs> um, Denial, I mean, they're in an unfortunate position at the moment in that uh, when they played their last game in this tournament, they had Shazam on their team. Shazam has since left to join Cloud9, been replaced by Adren, and Adren couldn't make the final, so they're forced to play a semi-final match with a stand-in. Um, and it's, it's put them in a difficult position Obviously, because they haven't got their full team, they've just had a change, and a new guy can't even play in this uh, particular match. So, got to you got to feel for them here. And, uh, I do wonder if mor morale might be a bit low, and they would otherwise. I'd expect them to put in a much stronger performance here. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, on a on a personal level, they 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 are currently my favourite team on of the North American uh, teams, and definitely this isn't. I would say. Like, I think an average performance from them or anything I like mean, that? It, it does suck for them that they, they lost to Dan very recently. And then, of course, then there's all these mix ups of players. So it's like it's like a shock to the system almost. Like losing all these. Exactly, a big disruption to the flow that they had going. And that, that's hard to deal with sometimes. But again, they're playing with a stand in here. So they're not going to feel too bad about the result. Because whenever a stand in's playing, you're like, well, we had a stand in playing. We couldn't play the game we've been practicing, so because of the standards. So yeah, but not just that. I mean, they 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 had a really solid lineup. They did. They absolutely and, did. And uh, I think Shazam. Very up and coming lineup for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Like I, I had high hopes for them, and I, I really wanted to see them uh, make a European land. But um, yeah, yeah. So so they've you know a lot of disruption with Shazam leaving. Here was a massive, massive piece of their team with the strength and consistency 
of his warping. They get a new guy and uh, he can't make it. Just a difficult time for the team. But it is a pistol round in the second half now. 13-2 to in favor of I by Power. They have a one-man lead at the moment. Two CTs in CT spawn and one holding the A site. That's going to be XP3. He has done well in previous pistol rounds in this match. He did clock up an ace in, on Inferno that was unforgettable as we are going to have a 3 on 3 now. Now is going to be just a peak in Halo. Finds himself a nice long range shot on two days. Skidoo does even things up a little bit, but Daps meanwhile has creeped up very close to his position. Going to find another player. There it is, spots him before he spots him. He is spotted himself. He was going to jump through the doors and that's the Glock to the head. Daps falls to the ground and now Skidoo can go anywhere. And this is the problem for XP3. Which way is he going to go? XP3 doesn't know, but he's going to spot him right now, just waiting in middle with that Glock. And uh, in fact, sorry, no, the P250 that he has picked up, in fact. XP3 going to pick this one out. Does spot him again. That's a nice tag. They're both equally low. This jewel here, the jewels who end all jewels, <laughs> but nobody's going to close it out just yet. And Skizu, uh, I think, swapped back to a Glock there. So here we go. Three now. Jumping in. Bomb is down, so that's the guaranteed money for I by Power. Trying to get the Kukli style in there, XP3. It's not going to happen just yet. Being teased by Skadoodle. Up he goes, though. Has Ooh, had enough of this. And Skadoodle is taking significant damage. He's going to get taken out finally. And uh, <laughs> that, that pistol duel went on forever. So Denial uh, will be in this for a little bit longer. <laughs> They're all having a great time. I liked, I liked some comment earlier we saw um, where, where they rushed into B, uh, where Denial rushed into B and killed Swag instantly. And they were like, Swag, did you lag out? And he's like, no, I was trying a new angle. Good <laughs> shit. <laughs> that was really funny. But, uh, Triple scout on I by power now. Two tick nines. Oh, I love it. The scouts are excellent. I do love me some scouts. I know Henry G would be a shame. Henry G not a fan of the scouts. The, the scouts I think are oh so brilliant. The scouts are the truth. They are amazing. They're so good. Like they're really good. Ever since they lowered the price from like $2,100. Oh wow, that snap is going to be demoralizing to say the least. Dazed with the aim lock there. <laughs> oh my god, James throwing out laugh. accusations. You can only laugh at that. That was insane. Okay, so uh, we do get them moving towards me now. They've made a call, and Nala responding to this call. But uh, it, actually, it actually looks much better for Unpowered. Um, We've got a really strong amount of weapons now. They've got two scouts, P90, FAMAS. They're loving life. In this situation, they've arguably got stronger weapons yeah. because uh, they're, they, they're looking at one shots now. Absolutely. Whoa, he actually connected that. I don't believe my eyes. XP3 going to find the kill on today. They are evening things up here, but two scouts, they're both one shot away from death. This is so scary right now. Look at this. They're teasing them with the scouts with the doors. And Swag is going to go for the plant. They might make the move here now. Holding back. Look at how dangerous this is. There it is, Hiko going to take off Nitro, and XP3 with the M4. Going to try and make do what he has. Oh, this is so, so painful. Look at this, they're just hopping and jumping all over the place. Swag finds the headshot, and he will close out the round. I, d I don't even know what to say at this point. <laughs> I just... A whack-a-mole. I can't. I don't know what to say. I don't even... Is Swag going to buy armor? Yes. 14 to 3, I by power are absolutely <laughs> demolishing denial. He goes to scouts in the middle, and there it is. XP3 with the luscious headshot there. The dazed. We're going to have Nathalie jumping around. I believe there's a song about this. Denial going to need counseling to come back from this. Jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. That's, that's, the, that's the theme song of the scouts. Here we go, though. Time for uh, Jamal to get some payback. Hiko is the first man to receive, be on the receiving end of said payback. And the five sevens do collide. Make their way into the middle. 
Hop, skip, and a jump. A goes down. And look at this, the 5-7 train. It's real right now. Doodle coming in with the P90. And please tell me he's not going to clean them all up with a P90. He's got 13 health left. And that's going to come in. Going to be trying the Kukli style again with the jump shots. And oh, that is. Get out of here. That's. Get out of here. Sat down by the Deeg of Skadoodle. And he's looking to clutch oh. this in a quite a credible way. He's not going to get the opportunity. Nafly will deny him. But that was uh, that was gut wrenching. Almost cinematic there from Skadoodle. So, how many rounds do uh, Denial have to get in a row here I before before they feel like, hold on, we could actually get back into this? Six. I'm, I'm saying six rounds. I'm saying they need I'm fourteen, say 12. ten, twelve. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> you laughing at that, that really proves that you're in a bad way, Jay. <laughs> All right. We were saying they need to win to say they can get back into this game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's not funny at all. All right. Look at the map control of I by Power versus the average map control on the T side by Denial. Yep. Again, just in some fantastic openings with the, with the Deagle. And the Marl able to even things up, going in again, taking over middle, find the bomb. That's a nice find there. There it is, P90 spray down from Daps. And what are you going to do now? I have a power. The Marl <coughs> should be able to take this round. No question about that. Just a swag left over here. Where is he? There he is. And there he goes. So there's Marl. One more round. I mean, I guess, I guess something around... 10, I suppose. I don't know. It's, it, it's kind of ambiguous. <coughs> I feel, I, I, a bit arbitrary. I don't feel like Iber Power feel remotely threatened at the moment. No. I mean, they've been kind of lolling around a, quite a lot here. They, they gave up a round or two that they could have taken on the first half as well. Like, all buying orbs, for example. Um, and a Scar and stuff. It, a Scar is really good, but four orbs and a Scar does not a round make does not a good CT half make. He's <laughs> <laughs> no, trying to get himself some frags here through the smoke. That's up close to the P90. Still rocket. There's still two P90s on denial here. <laughs> this is going to make some uh, shenanigans, but that's going to get uh, taken down. The smoke for uh, CT spawn there from Scoodle, and he's going to rotate up towards the bomb site where his teammate Days is uh, just slaughtering the CTs, taking down XP3 and Naflite in quick succession. We've got the remaining CTs trying to push the uh, tunnel areas. Scout still causing shenanigans. And Bugsy's looking for the finish. He's got three bullets, two bullets, one bullet. No, he ran out of bullets. Reload that P90. He's almost out of P90 bullets. How much has he been spraying that thing? <laughs> what is he actually doing with that? <laughs> He's just going for it. He's, he's on the last last bullet. He's left. like, come on, I'm reloading. <laughs> Go in. And he's going to get it. It was a valiant effort there from Fugly, but yeah. uh, what really he found was a wall. From, fr from like an analytical perspective, just ignoring everything else, they had two guys kind of uh, very close on short to middle, and they had two guys in the B site. So when they went for that B split, in theory, that's kind of the worst situation to go up against the B split because if the guys in the site, the B site, is made properly and delay them enough, the, all the rotation from short is already on top of it, the flank. So in theory, that makes it really hard. But at the moment, I mean, I've tired just rolling over them. They're rolling over them. Denal seemingly uh, have given up the ghost completely. They, they, they've been sapped of all moral and desire to take this map, it seems. And uh, here they go into the retake. Gonna get shut down. It's all on Bugly now. Gonna get taken out. There it is. A quick three-map sweep here for the G2. 